What it do, out. baby? We're in Italia. Italia. Made it over to Venice, Ciao. Venezia. Ciao Bella. Ciao Bella. So this is what we did. We bought our Aerobus tickets, but you can also combine it with the ACTV, which is the water taxi. All right, Jacationers, we're here at Barcelona Airport. We're headed off to Venezia, continuing the family trip. My aunties and uncle, they are in a different terminal, so they're flying an hour after us. And we're gonna meet them in Venice, and we're flying an hour before, but it looks like we're delayed like 20 minutes. We're gonna plan on meeting around the baggage claim, but when you corral a party of seven, it's a little more difficult. <laughs> To Italy we go, baby. What it do? What it do, baby? The flight from Barcelona to Venice is around one hour and fifty minutes, with multiple airlines like Ryanair and Vueling offering non-stop flights. The cost for this trip was around ninety euros each, including a checked-in bag for each person. I would suggest getting a window seat on the left-hand side of the plane just to enjoy the breathtaking views of Barcelona and the Mediterranean. Venice has two airports around the surrounding areas. The smaller airport is Treviso, and the main airport is Marco Polo, in which we landed in. What it do, baby? We're in Italia. Italia. Made it over to Venice, Ciao. Venezia. Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella. Grabbing our bags. So this is what we did. We bought our um, Aerobus tickets, but you can also combine it with the ACTV, which is the water taxi. And if you get a three-day combination with the Aerobus, it's 46 euro. And with all this family we're traveling with, we need to use the water taxis because they can't walk that much. Just to compare, a one-day ticket for 24 hours is 20 euro on its own. So for three days, you get 46. All right, the rest of the familia just landed. We took Ryanair, they took Vueling. We landed within an hour of each other. Now we're gonna hop on the Aerobus to get to uh, Piazza Roma. And then from Piazza Roma, we're gonna hop the water bus, or the water, yeah, water bus, over to uh, Zatere Station. Taking the bus is only about a 20 minute ride to Piazzale Roma versus a 75 minute ride on the water taxi. So we're about to hop the Aerobus, five quick stops and we get to uh, Piazza Roma and then from there we hop onto the water bus and over to where we're staying. The Alilaguna water taxi service is also offered from the airport but it takes 75 minutes and costs substantially more than the bus. The only advantage is that you get better views. From Piazzale Roma, you can hop a Vaporetto with your ACTV pass to wherever you are staying in Venice. All right, guys, so we got to the Zatere stop. Three stops from the bus station. We all made it with the aunties Yay! and the uncles. <laughs> and now we're just waiting for the uh, Airbnb host to pick us up. And it's only a five minute walk from here to our Airbnb. <laughs> See, that was easy. And, and, and Tita is, is, is safe and sound. Hey, what's up, Jaycationers? So we're here in our beautiful two-story apartment in Venezia, in Venice. I'll give you guys a tour of this place later. This is me and Jello's room. It's also the living room. Um, we got a TV here, fast fiber optic Wi-Fi, nice backyard. But so we got in late, and when you get in late to Venice, like past nine or ten, a lot of places get closed, and you got your bags. So you might want to bring some stuff. And mom, I was wondering why mom was packing noodles. And now I know why, because we needed the noodles tonight. So we're eating some noodles and hanging out. So suggestion, if you're coming late at night into Venice, bring yourself some food because a lot of places will be closed. There might be restaurants open, but you might be dead tired and you just want to hang out in your hotel, your Airbnb or whatnot. So bring food. Mm -hmm. So yummy. Grazie. <laughs> Bellissimo. Yeah. Hey, I, hey, I, I, listen, were... listen what I said. I was wrong, you were right about the noodles. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, we're gonna arrive here late. Now it came to use, so yeah. she was right, I was Okay, wrong. good. Okay? 
I'm glad you. Make sure you always scan your pass and buy one as they do occasionally check on board. Last thing you want is a fine. So for those of you that don't know, the ACTV, which is that boat right there, is basically like the metro around the old town of Venice. Uh, you basically buy a card, uh, you can get one day, two day, or three day, or seven day. Um, it's cheaper if you get like a three day. And all you gotta do is tap your card and then walk in and then go to your next stop. And it almost works as a metro on water. The Venezia Unica Pass we bought at the airport becomes valid at the time of purchase. For my group, we purchased a three-day pass which allowed us to hop on and off the Vaporetto for 72 hours. Now we're back onto the water bus route. So what I planned as a family trip to make less walking and then less of, you know, tiring times for everybody. Basically get off in certain places, then get back on the water bus and then hit the next place up. Make life a little easier for everybody else. When I'm solo, I just like to walk. Y'all already know. The advantage of buying the Venezia Unica ACTV Pass is that you have unlimited usage of the water bus service and can travel to all the islands such as Murano, Burano, Lido, and even the famous cemetery, you know, if you're into those sort of things. What I like most is riding the Vaporettos up and down the Grand Canal with beautiful views of the city's unique bridges. So those boats, those green boats are like special uh, trash compactor boats where you can bring plastic, cardboard, and your rubbish over to these boats during the day and uh, they'll take them for you and that's how you keep Venice clean. There is a trash schedule and a certain time for pickup so make sure you refer to your Airbnb guide for instructions and to do your part to keep Venice and its waters clean. Looking to go on a romantic gondola ride? Well, it will cost you. Prices range from 80 to 120 euros for 25 to 30 minute rides. So we gotta approach the port of Santangelo, which if you didn't know my full name was Angelo. So it should be pretty dope. My mom is gonna take a photo off. Santangelo. Private water taxis are also available and can cost up to 50 euros and up depending on how far you are going. Vaporetto service usually shuts down around midnight with select lines staying open for 24 hours a day. Service from Piazzelle Roma to Lido always runs for 24 hours. We used our 72 hour pass which we paid 46 euro for from the airport which got us the bus pass from the airport into Plaza Roma which is right in front of the old town of Venice and then into the city of Venice and then we got an extra 72 hours which was a lot cheaper 46 euro compare that to a one day pass which is 20 euro so that was a huge cruise ship so the way that you're supposed to uh, zap yourself into the water buses is you grab this and you simply do that and you're in Comment below if you have any questions or would like to add your own Venice transportation tips to fellow Jcationers. Well that's it for how to get around Venice, Italy, so for more videos in Venice and other cities around Italy, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to receive alerts on when I post my latest videos. Stay tuned for more adventures around Venice, a day trip to Murano, and a Venice food video featuring the local delicacy Cicchetti. See you in the next video, Jcationers!